Let's take a look at finding the population variance of the following data on an HP uh, Prime graphing calculator. First thing you need to be back at your application library, so if you're not, push your apps button. And we want to go into our statistics one var. So I'm going to down arrow to it and press enter on it. Now I know I already have the numbers entered in here and I could leave them there and be no problem. But I want to show how to delete numbers and how to imp input numbers. So if you press your delete key over and over, it'll delete them out. Now to input numbers, you just press each number and then press enter. So I do 13, enter, 19, enter, 23, enter, 31, enter, 45, enter, 46, enter, 47, enter, 51, enter, and 53, enter. Now you should verify that these are correct before you go on. I'll assume mine are, but uh, it's probably not a safe assumption. And I'll push the stats button here, and I'll choose column, and then I'll choose one. So I'll be the type one or click click the one, because we had our we had our numbers all in one column. Okay, now if I scroll down, this uh, little O. Uh, with a flip is our um, population standard deviation. That's lowercase sigma. And if you left her over, you can see that. Uh, it says population standard deviation. So this number right here, we could uh, write it down and then square it, and that'd give us our population variance. Or there's another way, which I'll show. So go ahead and click OK here. And then I'm going to go to Home. So I'll click the Home button. And um, I'm going to choose VARs, statistics one VAR, so right, right arrow on that. If your apps isn't chose here, like if you got home chose, click your app. And then I'm going right, to right arrow over uh, from statistics one VAR. I'm going to right arrow from result. And then I'm going to down arrow until I find my sigma. And there's a uh, lowercase sigma, so I'll press enter on it. And then I'll do my squared and press enter. So our population variance will be 202.91 rather than two decimal places. Now to get out of this you just press your apps button and I'll take you back to your application library. In this video we took a look at how to find the population variance on HP Prime Graphing Calculator.